All right, slant shadow. What are we making? Good question. We're making trizu patate coxie without the patate. So it's trizu coxie. For those of us not familiar with Italian cuisine, what's riso patato cozze? Riso patato cozze is rice with mussels and uh, patate, potatoes. Okay. And when it's only riso cozze, then it's rice and mussels, <laughs> no patate. <laughs> Forgot to buy patate and I don't have uh, any patate here in the, in the, uh, in the garden. So, living a sustainable life I'm using the available ingredients Having said that, there are no mussels also in the garden so it's <laughs> Nor did we fish them <laughs> Nor did we fish them, but they are sourced locally Yes um, And this garlic is from the summer harvest mm. that I have badly dried but it's still nicer than the supermarket one uh, onions, bay leaves, lemon, and uh, parsley is from the garden. Olive oil is from these trees around here. The rice is also <laughs> from the supermarket. Uh, yeah. if, if I'm buying garlic at the supermarket, yeah. how can I tell whether or not it's been well dried or if it's, if it's good quality? You just said this is badly dried. It's still better than the supermarket. How do you know? Uh, the one in the supermarket is uh, usually kind of is so perfectly shaped, and it's it's the the consistency of it is amazing. But then the taste is not as great. Uh, this is a bit more artisanal. Um, I don't know, and then I find that it is. I struggle a little bit with a lot of garlic. Uh, I like it a lot, but then if I add too much, um, the digestion becomes a bit challenging. Mm. Uh, I don't have this problem here. And what I'm doing here is condiments to, to put at the bottom. Onions and garlic. You cannot go wrong with the. You cannot think of anything that cannot go well with onions and garlic. Maybe some tomatoes. It's not tomato season, unfortunately. So, this is a one pan dish, and the idea is you can put everything together, and the rice will cook with the mussels and the vegetables and the lemon, and they'll all work together? Yes. Which it, is is a, it is a one pan dish. So it's great for lunch or for dinner if you want to do something quick and simple. Uh, it's really up to you. I mean, it's, I, I think you can have it. Well, I don't think it would be an ideal breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put it this way. But as far as lunch concerned, mm -hmm. why not? Mm -hmm. Yes, we're having it now for lunch. Yes. <laughs> All right. And you just toss the bay leaves in whole. Yeah. It's uh, obviously I'm not an authority on Italian cooking, but what I have observed in the last few years can be here quite um, quite religiously is that it's it's um, it's more about the ingredients rather than about the aesthetic. It's it's not a very I don't mean to offend any Italians here. It doesn't feel like as as complex in execution as let's say French cuisine. But then nothing is complex as French cuisine. Um, love the French completely. Yeah. Uh, some parsley as well. Mm -hmm. It's as long as you have good ingredients. And you're just rough, rough chopping the parsley. Yeah. Simply. Oh. Bit of olive oil. Now 
Now you can buy these from the supermarket already half, uh, half open. Being the lazy person that I am, I prefer it this way. Um, and the best way to know how fresh they are How does it taste? It's fresh. It tastes like the sea. I have another one just to really make sure that they have the <laughs> intensive quality control. Hmm. This one is a little bit sticking to the to the shell. <laughs> Fantastic. What if could you do this with frozen mussels as well? I think that would be an insult to mussels to leave out of the gods and to <laughs> stuff like this. Why would anyone do something like that? Maybe you can. I I haven't tried. Mm -hmm. I am not aware of anyone who have tried. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, sorry. Uh, you you start to actually then line the muscles. Now, I have seen Italian people who also add some condiments to the rice. Um, but I'm doing a kind of a lazy version. So I'm not So you're just letting them out over the vegetables? Exactly. Simple. Now that I look at it, I think a bigger tray would have been more suitable. <laughs> but it's it's only for two. Water. Mm -hmm. it's a Come on, over stress. How important the water is. Again, no insults to any Italians who would see this. Just sprinkling the rice evenly over the vegetables. And exactly. Exactly. But they don't need to cover the mussels or the vegetables. Actually, a little bit on the. I have seen people who would precisely actually make a bed of rice and then they would, because they would, in the original recipe, you have a bed of potatoes and then you have the rice. But you just have to put half of the rice and then you lay the mussels and then you start to gently put each mussel and then start to put some rice in every muscle. Mm -hmm. That level of dedication that <laughs> maybe one day in my older age I would develop, but at this moment I am very, very far from it. Uh, I'll add some slices of lemon also from the garden. If you have noticed, I have not added any salt. Let's see. Get a few here. secret ingredient is the water of the muscle. Because that's just pure love. Okay. 
I would have added a little bit of, um, how do you call it, a little bit of black pepper if I had any. But <laughs> we ran out, so just a tiny bit more water. So, uh, yeah, uh, to put the oven on 120, or maybe, maybe in my year you can do that. In the meantime, I will continue inspecting the... How much time? 20 minutes. Then we can come back uh, with the final result. All right. So, first of all, it's not twenty. No, it's not. Not at all. It's more like forty minutes or a higher temperature. So let's not take this as an instruction video on how to do riso patate uh, But I thought for the um, for transparency and disclosure. I had to tell you that it's significantly higher than 20 minutes. It's now ready, so uh, I'm gonna go and get it off the oven. I'm gonna get it off the oven. You will get it off the oven? Yes. Hopefully not. Where's. Not burning yourself in the second drawer? Tum, 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 ta. No pressure, no pressure for much fish. Apla. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, voila. Can we have a, a shot of the final product? This is it. Standard recipe obviously will have the potatoes on the meat and will have some cherry tomatoes, so the color will be a slight, slightly different. But I'll be right back. I would like to. What are you getting? Uh, I'm, I'm getting. Um, I see. I, I would like to, to do the whole thing with like tasting it uh, on camera. Ah. It's nice and crispy from the top. It's nice and... <laughs> so worth the wait. Oh, wow. <laughs> hmm. Having a moment. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Peace. Weren't you going to add some? Add what? Yes, of course. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Instead of having um, a reddish kind of feel, we have a green feel. The the shoots of the onions. Some people don't like it. I do. I find that kind of gives a summery feeling, though. It is almost nineteen degrees outside, and it's pretty sunny. So. It's and what month is it? <laughs> It is the 21st of February. 19 degrees in February, folks. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs>